Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the Financial Investor Channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be covering the market index changes for Monday, September 25th, 2017. In comparison to my portfolio, we'll also be covering the dividend payments in the month of September. I have been paid out 7 out of the 8 dividend payments in the month of September and I'm actually breaking my August record of $105.55. So it is a good month in the month of September uh, for both dividend payments and growth. Um, but a lot of that will be covered in my monthly recap video of what my monthly change has been and I'll be covering any buy, sells, average downs, my dividend payments, and how my stock positions have either grown or gone down in comparison to the uh, the month performance. So this is my second month on Robinhood. So let's go ahead and cover the market indexes really quickly. So let's go ahead and pull up money.cnn.com. So a lot of these went down today. The Dow went down 0.24%, NASDAQ had a loss of 0.88%, and the S&P 500 had a loss of 0.22%. The main driving force, I believe, in a lot of these is Apple. I don't see here. I don't know if Apple is inside of the NASDAQ, but I know Apple is inside both the Dow and the S&P 500. And it's been a lot of their growth factor. We can see that Netflix and Facebook took a big hit here. Both of them had a loss of greater than 4.5%. Alibaba as well. I know that's quite, you know, these are quite popular stocks. And I have i don't hold very many popular brands that, you know, it's very publicized on the uh, net. So anyways, uh, the Dow. You know, I like to compare my portfolio to the Dow and S&P 500. I very rarely compare it to the NASDAQ because it's so tech-centric that, you know, I, I put my portfolio in comparison more to the Dow and the S&P 500. Being a dividend-style investor, I do have that 4% uh, dividend yield, uh, which is the average of my portfolio, sitting a little bit above 4. So it is higher than both the Dow and the S&P 500. So I try and compare my portfolio to either 7 to 10% per year as well as that additional 4% yield. So we can see that in comparison, my portfolio uh, today had a point, uh, let's see here, 3 and 3, 0.73% gain, whereas the Dow went down 0.24 and the S&P 500 went down 0.22%. So my portfolio basically you know quadrupled uh, the performance of those stocks now here on my website if you go to my website here and go to portfolio dividend income I do have my dividend income for the past 12 months and as you know as of May is when I started to switch up my style of investing from a growth style you can see that in 2015 2016 I earned pennies in dividend income in comparison to what I am trying to achieve now that is because my style of investing switch switch from a growth style investor to a dividend and income investment style so I instead of being invested in stocks such as Netflix Facebook Amazon Google Weight Watchers I switched it up I am now investing only in dividend style stocks where I uh, I believe I find the best value and I can still get growth out of them so uh, that is so $105.55 is what I was paid out in August so we're going to go ahead and switch it up and we're gonna go and look at what the dividend payments have been in September so let's go ahead and get that centered so Pfizer will be my number one pay, paying stock in the month of September followed right behind by Exxon these two alone have paid over $70 together so we'll add Pfizer, which is $35.52, with Exxon, which is $34.65, and that's $70.17. So right there, two stocks already over $70. Let's go ahead and add Intel at $7.90, and Costco at $10.50. And that was terrible math there. Let's go ahead and start over. 35.52, 7.9, 10.5, 34.65. We're sitting at $88.57. 
Now we add Microsoft, which is $13.65, EPR, which is $15.98, $14.38 from Realty Delaware, and we're sitting at $132.58 right now. Now my last paying stock that I have not been paid for or paid out by yet is Pepsi, which is $23.35. And, and this will be paid out on Friday. So in the month of September, I will have earned $155.93 of passive income. Now I have reinvested that money back into additional shares of other stocks. You can see I'm only holding on to $5.93 right now in my portfolio because I don't have anywhere to really put it right now at this moment and I don't want to invest in penny stocks. So I'm just going to be holding it until I get my Pepsi and that'll bump me up to around $28 and even then I may not be able to buy I may be able to buy into like say Ford or some of those uh, Glad or Good stocks but um, I may just hold it and wait till the first because every month I do add $600 into my uh, overall my portfolio and that'll give me an ability to uh, average down on positions that I may be down or just increase increase my equity in certain positions so that is it in the month of September I will be $155.93 just from dividend payments so that is it for this video stay tuned for the end of the month portfolio and full release uh, which will cover growth and loss in each specific stock how much I'm up how much I'm down uh, with my current uh, where I purchased it at versus what their one or two month is at and I'll also be covering dividend, you know, the dividend payments again. And I'll be covering any buy, sells, or average downs in my monthly video. So that is it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching up until this point. If you did like the video, hit the like button below. If you have any suggestions for the style of videos where I'm talking about my dividends in the month of September or just dividends for the month, style if you have anything you would like to see go ahead and leave that in the comments below I do appreciate anyone that is a subscriber and that does subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or want to say hello or have any questions on any of the stocks that I'm currently invested in go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well you know I like to have um, commentary and I like to be able to communicate and talk with other investors so please leave a comment and I will always reply back to you guys thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time Bye.